Digital health is rapidly transforming traditional health care. You could see it in this year's Abbey Awards and in the M&A tally for 2018, recently announced by Moby Health News. The 54 acquisitions announced this year was the largest number ever, with the highest collective price tag of $7.6 billion for just 13 of them. And why? It's incredibly difficult for companies with deep domain expertise and market share in traditional markets to segue into another, particularly when it could cannibalize their existing business. Like Kodak, famously burying the first digital camera one of their engineers developed in 1989. So it's a classic case of buy versus make, like pharma giant Roche, acquiring six-year-old oncology EHR software firm Flatiron Health for $1.9 billion, on top of the millions Roche had previously invested two years ago. For traditional retailer Best Buy, purchasing Great Call suite of connected safety products and services for seniors aging in place made perfect sense, so they paid $100 million for it. ResMed, a leading manufacturer of devices for patients with sleep apnea, COPD, and other chronic respiratory diseases, bought Propeller House mobile platform that offers sensors, mobile apps, analytics, and services to support respiratory health management, particularly for patients with asthma and COPD. And some enlightened companies already are committed to digital, like Amazon, which acquired PillPack for just under a billion dollars. Of course, it was a natural line extension to get into the online pharmacy business for Amazon. Hi, I'm Amy Grant of the ABL organization, and four of ABL's most recent Abbey Award finalists at our San Francisco event are still startups or early stage companies. Since all of them are addressing serious healthcare needs in our incredibly value-based environment, no doubt they're likely M&A targets too. Founder and CEO David Williams of Care3 enables team-based care programs, particularly PACE and Medicaid-managed long-term services and supports organizations, to generate better outcomes while reducing the cost through technology. The Care3 app enables providers, patients, and family caregivers to improve collaboration as they track and measure care delivered in patients' homes, not just by clinicians like home health workers and therapists, but by the patient themselves and their family members all on their phones. Co-founder and CEO Jenny Gallagher's Helpful addresses the loneliness experienced by 22 million U.S. seniors. Helpful is a web-based, trusted community network that empowers older adults to thrive as they give and get help using time tokens. Typically, younger members of the community are the helpers, being rewarded with a sense of purpose and personal fulfillment as they help seniors with everyday tasks from cooking to cleaning to care rides. Modio CEO, Dr. Kirk Heath, was a surgeon himself. Then he ran surgery centers. In both situations, he ran into the time-consuming and repetitive task of credentialing himself and other practitioners. Modio's One View is a cloud-based credentialing and career management solution for healthcare providers and organizations. And in just four years, has emerged as a leader in the provider management arena, being named the top performer in class 2018 credentialing report. CEO Scott Kim brought both his career in the mobile gaming software industry and his personal experience as a rehab patient to Neofect. Neofect's Raphael Smart Glove for Home is a high-tech rehab training device. As the patient plays games on a tablet, his or her rehab data is uploaded, analyzed, and the training becomes more customized for each patient's rehab needs. The eight-year-old rehab, rehab Anytime, Anywhere company has already gone public in Korea. Our fifth Abbey finalist represents one of those rare companies that was able to innovate inside. George McGregor founded McGregor & Associates 10 years ago and based on over 20 years of managing employee trust, concurrently became the general manager of California Schools VEBA, a voluntary employees beneficiary association serving 62 employers, 128 bargaining units, and 132,000 lives, primarily teachers. In recent years, George has established both a performance network responsible for saving the trust $52 million a year, or 11% of their spend, 
Yet an even more impressive innovation was establishing the VIVA Resource Center to identify and address the behavioral health issues, often first acquired with adverse childhood experiences at home, that are frequently the root cause of a medical problem. This center, both actual and virtual, provides holistic nurses and social workers in person and online to address each member's unique needs and circumstances so they can achieve sustainable lifestyle change. It was primarily for this innovation in healthcare, the George Chacombe the Abbey Award. We'll be looking forward to hearing about more exciting and cost-saving innovations in healthcare from you in the future.